Thank you and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar, What to Do When Your Routing Guide Falls Apart with LoadSmart and Oracle. Please know that this session is being recorded and will be shared with all registrants following the webinar. We'll have time for a few questions at the end of the webinar, so please submit any questions you have in the question panel of your control panel. I'll be facilitating the Q&A from there. Today, we're happy to co-present with LoadSmart's strategic partner, Oracle. Chris Peckham, Senior Principal Product Manager at Oracle, and Lauren Brown, Senior Manager at LoadSmart, will provide an overview of what to do when your routing guide falls apart. With that said, I'll hand it over to Lauren to begin. Great, thanks Adrian. Thanks everybody, we're really excited to have you here this afternoon. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. We'll jump right in here. Um, so for those of you who are not familiar with LoadSmart, um, we really exist because we felt like truckload has operated the same way for just way too long. Time consuming rate discovery, unpredictable, unreliable performance, lack of automation, and fragmented platforms and interfaces. So we came up with Smart Truckload, um, and we're really leaning on both technology and our strategic partnerships, like the one that we have with Oracle, to automate how loads are priced, booked, sourced, scheduled, and tracked. Uh, it's really important to note that we take full operational ownership and legal liability of your loads. So they move under our SCAC, under our MC, under our insurance. The integration is free, LoadSmart does not charge, and neither does Oracle. So we connect right into the TMS, and we also provide you with a single point of contact, your dedicated account manager. And, and from the Oracle perspective, you know, our, our goal pertaining to partnerships is to really support any partner who brings a complimentary solution to our customers that extends the power of OTM. There are exceptions, but generally speaking, we don't necessarily seek out partners. Uh, rather, we let them come to us. Uh, the reason for that is we like to see our partner ecosystem grow organically. And we feel that having innovative new solutions driven by strong demand from customers uh, will lead to greater success for those partners versus us simply you know, chasing a partnership with a vendor who may specialize in the, in the latest trend, but perhaps isn't necessarily invested in the OTM space or there isn't yet much in the way of pent up demand. So the job for de of developing and delivering uh, these types of integrations also falls to the partner which is another reason why we prefer that partners initiate uh, the engagement. Although we try to make integrating to our products as easy as uh, and straightforward as possible, Oracle does not ultimately package uh, the integration with our product. So it does still require some wherewithal on behalf of the partner, uh, including some knowledge of our application to pull it off. So in terms of the Oracle Load Smart partnership, you know, our customers are always looking for ways to mitigate risk and minimize their exposure uh, to market forces such as volatility. Certainly, I don't have to tell anybody that 2020 has been quite an adventure from that perspective. And uh, I think it was fortuitous for everyone that this integration existed and had numerous successful customers going back more than a year now. Uh, it was the first OTM integration of its kind. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, the, they did a really good job, the LoadSmart team did of uh, being well positioned with a with a proven solution so that in a year like this when shippers are clamoring for capacity and looking for help anywhere they can get it LoadSmart had a solution that was uh, ready for prime time and we largely evaluate those partnerships based on the success of our mutual customers and in this case you know the feedback i've received uh, has been uh, nothing but positive so we're grateful for the partnership and very happy that our customers are benefiting from it Awesome, thanks for that, Chris. So here's a high level overview of the Oracle LoadSmart solution. So we're integrated with Oracle via API. So what does that mean to you, the shipper? Um, we provide real-time instant pricing right within OTM. Uh, we handle the load from soup to nuts. So from scheduling to routing to AI powered sourcing right on through to invoicing. All of this is done seamlessly and with no friction right within your OTM. So Chris touched on this briefly, um, but let's talk about what's happening in the market, right? Um, it's, it's really been a troublesome year and transportation has been no different. 2020 has really brought some unique challenges to shippers um, and it's not looking like it's gonna get better anytime soon. So specifically what's happening? Load volumes are an all time high. Uh, what you're looking at here represents 
2020 in the blue, so you can see that the outbound tender volume index is just surging. It's been on an upward trajectory really since the end of April. Um, load volumes are 80% above 2019, and it's causing a lot of headaches for shippers. One of the headaches is outbound tender reject. So we're seeing tender rejections above 25%, um, which is, means that your routing guides are not going according to plan. Essentially, they're breaking. And on top of that, um, things get even worse when we look at cost. So the rate per mile correlates strongly with OTRI. So as we're seeing this capacity really tighten and volumes continue to surge, just like any market where there's that natural tug of supply and demand, cost is going to rise. So what we're seeing, lots of volatility. Swings and freight volumes really tighten capacity. Again, that primary tender rejection above 25%, which is even worse than we saw in 2018. 2019 was a really great environment for shippers. So it's causing exceeding pain right now and lots of service disruptions, delays, return loads, charge back from customers, uh, really just a lot of pain going on with our shippers in the market right now. So what do we recommend? What do you do when your routing guides continue to break, when you're paying more for less service? Uh, the first thing that we recommend is even before you dive into the OTM system, we take a good hard look at the carrier scorecards. How are your incumbents performing against the key metrics that you've given them? Um, things like on-time pickup and delivery, primary tender acceptance and tracking. And when you really look at that routing guide by routing guide, is it the way that it's configured right now with those carriers the way that you want it to be? Now, we don't really focus on a particular industry vertical, so different shippers and different verticals measure things differently and weight that performance differently. So for example, a heavy machinery manufacturer will have different metrics to look at and different weighted ways that they, they balance that as opposed to somebody who's in the retail space. Retail is of course big on-time delivery to customers, right? If it's not on the shelf, they're gonna go elsewhere. And similarly with our food and bev customers, they have to get their product to market who are largely the big box retailers who are gonna have heavy fines and chargebacks if you're not hitting their on-time delivery metrics. So the results of this analysis will really allow you to optimize, right? By weeding out the carriers that are not performing well or even weeding them out out of the routing guides where they're just not really strong. Maybe they're rejecting loads. Maybe they're not getting your on-time deliveries there. Um, by diving into that, now this gives you the opportunity to best go into OTM and figure out how you can op optimize using the Load Smart Oracle solution. So let's take a look at the system optimization and, and how can we leverage the integration to keep your freight moving during this tumultuous market. You know, the routing guide is one part of a much broader, uh, sophisticated solve routine for creating shipments. But once a shipment is created, you know, the carrier selection process may depend on a number of factors. Uh, it may be volume commitments, uh, where a shipper has promised to carry a certain amount of freight on a given lane in exchange for a, a favorable rate. It could be entirely cost-based, or it could be a combination of, of cost and service uh, in transportation. There's oftentimes a, you know, you get what you pay for trade-off, and some shippers will pay a little more uh, for a carrier that has a good track record of service. A nice thing about this integration is that it can serve a number of purposes. First, uh, it, it's an excellent benchmark that enables you to really see how your contract rates are stacking up with the market in general. If freight's soft, you know, your contract rates may be high, and you may be able to save money by executing against that real-time uh, bookable rate. Uh, conversely, freight may be very strong. Uh, while your contract rates may look attractive to you, they don't necessarily look attractive to, to carriers and you may see a lot of shipments being rejected. And in that case, that instantly bookable rate may be a really attractive because it's offering you guaranteed capacity in a tight market where your planners may otherwise spend a lot of a big portion of their day just uh, looking for a carrier to, to move that shipment. Yeah, exactly. So that's completely spot on. So when our shippers execute these annual RFPs, they're essentially having their carriers and their brokers put rates in place for 12 months out of the year. But as we know, unlike a static rate, the market is not static. It ebbs and flows based on things like consumer demand, weather, peak seasons, and things completely outside of our control. Um, so what that results in is I like to think it as a broken clock is even right twice a day, right? So you can do the really hard number crunching and, and really, really do your best to get rates that are going to be in place. But there's going to be certain times of the year where you're paying above market 
and certain times we were paying below market and, and rarely is that hitting that sweet spot for the contract rates. And 2020 bought, brought even more challenges in transportation, just like in many other facets of our life, because the market has really just been tightening uh, from a capacity standpoint since the end of March, whereas volumes are also increasing. So that sweet spot um, is really has been well below what the market is bearing, and there's no signs of relief. Uh, we are still wrapping up things like proto season. Today we kicked off the carrier inspection, um, and pretty soon before we know it, we'll all be getting into that holiday crunch. So how often are you getting the best rate? On the left side of the screen here, you'll see a legacy static setup, right? So as you'll notice, there's a couple carriers that when it is, the rates are below market, they're still honoring those rates, but most of them are rejecting. And that's what we're seeing now in 2020, high primary tender rejections, which is causing shippers to have to take a lot of time to go back out to the market to pay even more money for a less than ideal service. But now here in this integrated dynamic environment, it's different. You can have your cake and eat it too. Um, so um, these inefficient routing guides end up sending our loads to the spot market, um, which is tedious, it's time consuming. Uh, you may not have a great relationship with the carriers who are handling the loads. And there's lack, lack of both transparency and control over pricing, which is gonna crush your budget. Yeah, if if you're a shipper, the spot market is not where you you want to be right now. And I've I've heard from customers who are seeing as much as 30% of their freight going to spot, not only because their contract carriers are turning down shipments, but the shippers' volumes are also up. So the problem is compounded. So we've seen that especially true in the consumer goods space, uh, food and beverage, and other industries where COVID has really had a significant impact. And the first problem with the spot market is cost. If your preferred carriers have fallen through, you know it's a virtual certainty that you're going to pay more. Uh, how much more depends oftentimes on the urgency that your freight needs to move. Uh, is it a priority shipment? If it's for a customer that's going to impose steep penalties if that shipment is late, for instance, if so, your planner may simply give the shipment to the first carrier that says yes and that's gonna be expensive. Uh, if you want your planner to be a little more judicious and do some shopping, that's gonna be expensive from a, a time and efficiency perspective. So no matter how much your TMS can automate, you're still dealing directly with, with carriers, you're still gonna have a lot of low tech operations out there, and you're likely gonna to have to make numerous phone calls, send emails, and so on. And if you have any volume of shipments that are going to the spot market, that's quickly gonna become a very labor intensive and error prone process uh, and there are going to be risks to service and frankly it's not going to it's not going to scale so there's going to reach a point where your planner simply can't keep up and this integration seamlessly automates that process by connecting you with the instantly bookable capacity that saves time prevents errors uh, gives you transparency and, and really visibility into the into the market conditions yeah, so um, as you all are acutely aware, the market is tough right now. Um, so what we've done, Oracle and LoadSmart, is we've really partnered to give you a solution for the system that you're already using every day. So again, if you think about static rates in your database of your negotiated RFP rates, um, they're typically in a waterfall in OTM. Um, and when the primary rejects, now you're you're sort of back to the drawing board, right? We all know that secondary and backup carriers have even less tender acceptance than the primary. Um, so what LoadSmart does by inserting this instantly bookable rate and guaranteeing 100% capacity is it allows your planners to stay in the routing guide to avoid spot and to continue to let that waterfall flow without having manual disruptions, which as Chris pointed out, really doesn't scale. Um, so this gives a great option with no additional effort. So thinking back to a legacy or a static routing guide, um, you assign it to a primary carrier, but right now, as Chris pointed out, shippers are seeing as high as 30% primary carrier rejections. The secondary and the backup carriers are also rejecting these loads because much like the, the primary carrier, there's a, a lot of opportunity on the spot market to, to get higher paying rates. Uh, conversely, in an integrated or dynamic environment, the primary carrier can still reject the load, but we're inserting that real-time rate, which is instantly bookable, right into the routing guide. 
Yeah, we've, we've referenced these live instantly bookable rates uh, several times. So what we're illustrating here is that this, this integration embeds everything within OTM. So those of you who are OTM customers, you're gonna recognize that screen. Obviously, there's been a little branding there done by the LoadSmart team with the banner at the top, but that, that's an OTM screen. Uh, your users never have to leave OTM to, to use this. Further, it really requires nothing in the way of training. Uh, nothing is the least bit different from the user's perspective. And, and frankly, they may not even know that OTM is actually calling out to LoadSmart to get that rate. It just shows up as any other carrier would, but instead of retrieving that rate from the OTM database and calculating the cost, it's calling load smart and getting that rate in real time. So it's very, very simple, very easy to use, uh, completely transparent to users, and equally important, the performance is where it needs to be. It's uh, it's very, very fast. Yeah, so Chris mentioned that we have a lot of success stories with customers who've already integrated with load smart via OTM. Um, and this is an international beverage manufacturer that we're gonna take a quick look at today in their case study and what Oracle and load smart did for them. Um, so just like everybody else, they were seeing a high volume of tender rejections. So they did the first analysis of really taking a good hard look at their carrier network. Uh, and what they decided that was 20% of the routing guides were actually not broken. They were absolutely fine and they could leave them untouched. Another 70%, they said, you know what, there's really some opportunity here to optimize, whether it's because there were service failures, being that primary tender decline, or even just because they were declining, because as Chris pointed out, their business is surging right now, particularly for a beverage uh, manufacturer with bars being closed and, and restaurants in a lot of states. People are getting their own beverages at the stores. Um, so they were seeing these surges. So for 70% of their routing guides, they decided to incorporate the load smart dynamic rate to help give them that added flexibility and capacity where needed. And the other 10% were just their ad hoc shipments where there were no contracted lanes to begin with. Um, so by utilizing the load smart API in the spot portion, they were able to get that instantly bookable rate. We guarantee that rate and we guarantee capacity. So they really had a great use case for 80% of their shipments. So if or I'm a shipper sitting there, I'm going, okay, this sounds great. It sounds very techy and neat, and it's going to get me instant access to capacity. And I, I can feel comfortable that because Load Smart is going to be put into the routing guide where they are in ascending order of price, that I'm going to be paying a fair rate too. But how can I be certain that this Load Smart is going to give me a great service? So let's let's give you guys some comfort and reassurance about how that happens. Um, I touched on this before, but it's definitely worth mentioning that single point of contact. Uh, I think we've all had that um, WISMO, we like to call it, where is my order, when we're maybe picking up the phone and trying to find out where our Amazon package is, only to be transferred 14 times and have to say that your tracking number is this every time you get a new person on the phone. Uh, we really wanted to provide the antithesis of that experience where every time you need to reach out to LoadSmart, it's a single person, it's your account manager. So whether it's a phone call, a text, a Slack or an email, you're constantly reaching out to the same person who knows your account, knows your customers, knows your vendors and is happy to help you. We take full ownership of your loads. So we're scheduling the pickup and the delivery appointments. We're providing that tracking and tracing right in OTM. And as far as our carrier partners, we really have a different approach. Um, we've really targeted the medium and large carriers, which allows us to do a couple of things. We can provide services like drop trailer that just an owner operator simply can't do with one trailer, um, but we're also wiring into them. So just like we wired up with OTM, to meet the demand of the need for loads. We're also backing that up with capacity by wiring into the fleet management systems and the TMSs of our carrier partners. We obsess about service, right? So what you're looking at here is actually an internal system of LoadSmart. It's part of our homegrown TMS. Um, and we decided to build our own um, just because it has a different need than shippers. And we wanted to be really able to customize the TMS, not just for our own needs, but for the needs of our customers. So we're constantly auditing and measuring ourselves in terms of your KPIs and making sure that we're not only meeting them, we're exceeding your expectations. We like to think of it as a perfect balance between tech and touch. We automate what we can um, to create efficiencies and streamline uh, processes, 
but you can never take away that human touch. So at the end of the day, nobody wants a robot to answer their phone. They wanna to talk to their single point of contact, that account manager. So getting started, um, how do we get started? Um, Chris, maybe you could confirm for us uh, what version of OTM um, supports the Load Smart integration? Sure, yeah. The you know the ideal case is that you're a cloud customer, and if so, you're gold, no concerns whatsoever. That screenshot you saw earlier was from an, an OTM cloud instance, so you'll be running the same version that LoadSmart is running for their development and testing. Uh, if you're an on-prem customer, you need to be at least on version 6.3.4, which is several years old. Hopefully, customers are running a release well beyond that. Uh, because some of those older releases aren't even on support anymore, but 6.3.4 is the version that you need to be at a minimum level to have the APIs necessary to run this integration. Awesome, thanks Chris. So after you find out that this is technically feasible, once you've agreed to initiate the integration, uh, it bears worth repeating, um, there's no cost, Oracle and LoadSmart, neither one of us charge for the integration. Uh, we also don't even have a contract, right? So there's no volume commitment, like Chris mentioned. Um, if you're not using the LoadSmart as the actual carrier provider, you can use that rate to benchmark how you're doing against industry. Um, so once you've agreed to initiate, we hold a kickoff call where we do a couple of things. Uh, first and foremost, we go over your operational requirements, right? Before we put some tech around what you're doing, we want to make sure we understand your processes and what your unique requirements are. Then we delve into the tech part, uh, which really takes soup to nuts a couple of hours to get the configuration built. No engineering work whatsoever. We've already taken care of that with the Oracle team. Thank you, Lauren and Chris. That was a great presentation. Let's get right into these questions. First, I'm in the market for a TMS. Why should I choose Oracle? Uh, why OTM? Okay, thanks for asking. Uh, that could be a webinar all its own, uh, but I'll, I'll try to be brief and, and succinct and, and not hijack uh, LoadSmart's event. But uh, uh, OTM is a very mature, robust uh, solution. It's been around for 20 plus years. Uh, it can support the entire end-to-end -end transportation lifecycle from uh, procurement to planning and execution to visibility and monitoring, freight settlement, reporting and analytics, uh, strategic planning and, and what if analysis. Uh, we have customers in virtually every industry, including many, many household names, uh, and we can support anything from low volume shippers with basic you know, domestic truckload scenarios to complex shippers doing multi-leg, multi-mode international moves, all on a, a single platform. With the cloud solution, Oracle takes care of all the maintenance upgrades and uh, the other IT intensive activities for you. Um, all that said, uh, you don't have to take my word for it. OTM is prominently featured in the Gartner Magic Quadrant, uh, where it's been a leader on that uh, analyst publication since its inception back in uh, 2006. So feel free to check that out. And if people are curious to learn more, uh, they're welcome to reach out to me directly. I think my email address is included on the closing slide. So I welcome uh, any questions via that, uh, that, that channel as well. Thank you. Next question. Will enabling the LoadSmart integration put LoadSmart in all of my routing guides? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Um, the answer is uh, no, not necessarily. It can, but uh, most shippers opt to turn the spigot on slowly. Um, so of course um, we can get set up in the spot. That, that, that's a no brainer. Um, but then shippers just like we showed the analysis of diving into where you're having some troublesome routing guides, often that's a great uh, place to take advantage and start um, where you're seeing either poor service or uh, really low primary tender acceptance. Um, and then as you get more comfortable with a load smart service price package, you continue to expand from there. And I, I can add on that, you know, from an OTM perspective, it's as simple as uh, adding any other carrier on, on any other lane. So it's, uh, it's a non-event non from uh, an OTM perspective. Perfect, thank you. And one last question, I think you covered this, but it's worth repeating. What's the cost to integrate LoadSmart rates into Oracle? 
Yeah, absolutely worth repeating. There is absolutely zero cost. Uh, as a matter of fact, the only money that ever changes hands between shippers and LoadSmart is the money you pay for the load. So whatever you've tendered the load to LoadSmart for, that's all you will ever pay to LoadSmart. There is no charge for the integration, there is no maintenance, and Oracle doesn't charge whatsoever at all either. Yeah, that's right, Lauren. The uh, API that's used for this integration for the rating piece is uh, part of standard base OTM. Uh, for those of you in the crowd who know OTM, it's the external rating engine API. You can find it in your documentation library, but uh, yeah, that's standard standard product. Great, with that, I'd like to thank you all for joining. I hope you found the webinar today valuable and were able to learn some things. If we did not get to your question today, I assure you we'll reach out directly. I've also included Lauren and Chris's contact information here, and you are welcome to reach out to them as well. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you.